Welcome back. So I like to help people connect with their divine natural self, their divine natural truth and wisdom th through the animals. And I like to do this best by taking them on safari or going on a wildlife tour. So if this is something you really want to do, but you think you can't for some reason, I encourage you to come to my website, check out my free manifesting videos and go from there. So today's question is, can I do safari on a budget? And I say, absolutely. I think safaris are far less money than I ever expected. And I've addressed this in some other videos, but I think it's because we see pictures in travel magazines of safaris and they're so luxurious and they're so expensive. But the truth is a lot of safaris are not actually that expensive. I was shocked the first time I went on safari at how inexpensive it was because I had always envisioned a certain price, a certain type of lodging, and it just doesn't have to be that way. Now, when we say on a budget, I will say that the, the places I go are not the least expensive places. The places I go are nice and they're not expensive, but you could also downgrade a little bit to some other locations if you needed to save even a little bit more money. There's all kinds of lodging options. And I think that's where you're going to find most of the cost is between the, the driver or guides that you hire and what company they're with or how they're provided and the lodging. Most lodging includes all your food. So you don't have to worry about paying for food. The park costs are pretty much fixed. You can't get a discount on those. But depending on what lodging, are you willing to camp in a tent at a campground? That's certainly shoestring budget, but you don't even necessarily have to do that to minimize your costs. Like I said, the ones that I take people on are pretty low cost. I have compared them to going to Hawaii and going to Disneyland, and I think they are less expensive. By the time you add in all your activities in Hawaii and your food, and your food at Disneyland and the park tickets and all the transportations and parking. It's not cheap to do either of those trips. And I think the safaris that I take people on are less expensive than that. If you're on a budget, there's some great websites about travel hacking and how to optimize using miles and points for free airline tickets. I've flown, my husband has flown free back and forth to Kenya several times, but I've also gotten tickets for under $900. I would say absolutely on a budget, you and your family, you and your spouse, you and your friend can go on safari. It just takes a little bit of planning and you want to go at the right time of year because airfares can change significantly between different times of year. So let me know if you have questions about it. Come visit me at revcarencleveland.com. I would love to help you out with a safari or wildlife tour.